Godzilla is known for many things. Atomic metaphors, atomic breath, atomically good looks, but he's probably most known for his titanic battles with other monsters like himself. With battles spanning over several decades worth of films, the question becomes, who should he fight next? I'm Thomas Fairchild, and today on Progress Pictures, I'll be talking about five characters Godzilla should fight, and uh, my story treatments for them. Tokyo is experiencing an unprecedented level of civil unrest to the point where the government has no choice but to quarantine the world's largest city. The country is told that Tokyo's citizens are suffering from what scientists call a pathologically induced pathogen, but the truth is far more sinister. An invisible, malevolent force is corrupting the minds of the people trapped inside Tokyo's city limits. But soon, these millions of people will break free and infect the rest of the country. That's when Godzilla arrives. With the whole world watching, the majestic creature strides into the heart of Tokyo to exercise its demons. Suddenly, the infected break down into a macabre of horrors that merge into a singular entity known as the Devil. Can Godzilla defeat evil incarnate, or will he too fall prey to the king of evil? For years, Godzilla has terrorized the planet. Nation after nation has fallen to his atomic might. No weapon on Earth seems capable of hurting him. Up until now, Japan alone has been spared the monster's wrath. But it's only a matter of time before Godzilla makes landfall. To cancel the apocalypse, the Japanese government authorizes Operation Ultraman. Their mission is to create a superhuman capable of putting an end to Godzilla's reign of terror. Out of thousands of human trials, only Shen Hayata emerges as the sole remaining candidate. As Godzilla starts his attack on Japan, Hayata transforms into the enigmatic Ultraman. But as the war with Godzilla reaches critical mass, Hayata discovers that Ultraman wasn't designed to save humanity, but to replace it. When interdimensional portals open across the globe and hordes of Cloverfield monsters pour out, it feels like the end is nigh. Widespread panic grips the world. Governments struggle to contain the monster plague. Help arrives, not in the form of a new super weapon, but in the form of Godzilla leading an army of Earth's monsters. In a massive battle, Godzilla and his friends beat back these interdimensional invaders, but to their surprise, it's discovered that these creatures are nothing more than infants. That's when their titanic mother emerges from the other side, literally shaking the planet as she challenges Earth's mightiest monsters. An unidentified flying object falls from space. The world watches in horror as the object is revealed to be none other than King Ghidorah and he's confronted by his arch nemesis, Godzilla. But something isn't right. Unlike so many times before, Ghidorah isn't here to destroy the planet. No, something is different about him. He seems scared. Godzilla soon discovers that King Ghidorah, the scourge of the cosmos, the destroyer of worlds, is running away from something worse. The Earth howls in despair as great Cthulhu arrives. Godzilla and King Ghidorah grudgingly join forces against Cthulhu as the world slowly succumbs to madness. But there is another old one on Earth and 
unlike Cthulhu, she comes in peace. We call her Mothra. Long ago, an ancient civilization brokered a truce between two of the planet's mightiest creatures, Godzilla and Gamera. For millions of years, the battles they waged always ended in triggering a new extinction event. To prevent the end of all things, both titans agreed to share responsibilities, but with the firm understanding that as long as one reigned, the other would rest. Until the age of man changed everything. Nuclear testing, climate change, deforestation, pollution, and drought is putting the biosphere on notice. This destabilization of the natural order awakens both Godzilla and Gamera. Old feuds quickly resurface, and with the truth seemingly no more, the two monsters wage an all-out battle that will destroy everything. What good is there in being a king if there's no kingdom? to rule all right well hey uh thanks for listening uh of all the of the choices that you've heard uh tell me which one do you think is least likely to happen which one's the most likely going to happen and uh would you prefer to see say the cloverfield monster story arc uh be turned into an animated series would you like to see godzilla versus cthulhu be done in then like a comic book mini series which one would you like to see in a as a live action film or perhaps a an animated movie don't forget to like and subscribe and uh Yeah. Anyway, uh, I'm Tom, and this was a work in progress. Thank you for watching.